everybody, it's Greg from parkjourney.com here. As you can see, maybe, maybe not, I am here at Six Flags Magic Mountain to check out what's going on here with Wonder Woman uh, construction and also the tattoo paint job and a couple other things going on throughout the park. As you can see behind me here, the blue walls are now red. Uh, I would anticipate some kind of graphics being added to this at some point in the very near future, maybe even by this weekend. Unfortunately, it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. Uh, but you can see here again, uh, lots of stuff. I got a lot to show you regarding construction going on here at the park and uh, we'll get right into it. Before I do, make sure you click below to subscribe. So here we have the paint job going on at Tatsu. As you can see, they are actively working on the front area with the pretzel loop there right in the middle, right next to the revolution loop. Uh, they think they've still got uh, quite a bit to do over here. This will probably be the hardest part for them to get to due to revolution and fountain and everything. Uh, I haven't seen Revolution going. I'm going to guess that it is probably closed, um, obviously, for painting of Tetsu. Obviously, the two coasters intertwine quite a bit. Um, but here you can see they've got about half of the pretzel loop completed, the front half, as you can see there. Uh, as we move over here, you can see on the support there, they've got about half the support done, and then the lower part that is closest to Revolution still to go. Is it wrong that I think that actually looks good with the, old, <laughs> the green and the orange uh, half and half supports? Uh, I think that looks kind of cool actually. But anyway, uh, you can see here, uh, oh, Revolution is open. So they probably aren't painting near Revolution today, uh, which makes sense. Obviously, if they're painting right there, they would have to close Revolution. But it's looking good, uh, I have to say. Um, as you all know, Tattoo is not one of my favorite rides, but the, it is actually looking pretty good. And then obviously we'll get more footage around the other side. Um, but again, here is the pretzel loop paint job. So over here, we've got the work going on with the restrooms in the area. I'm not seeing anything over the, the wall yet, but we'll take a look around the corner to see what's going down. Uh, so far, yeah, it doesn't look like any change from our last update a couple of weeks ago, as far as the restrooms are concerned. Obviously more important uh, projects going on at the park at this time, which we'll get to in the back of the park. Let's go ahead and peek around the corner here, just to see, yep. Oh, it looks like, oh yeah, they got some, uh, looks like some work, uh, ground work being done, I'm assuming for pipes. So not only was the building completely demolished, looks like they also demolished all of the infrastructure for the restrooms here as well. Makes sense, again, as we mentioned in our last update, very old restrooms, very old piping. Stuff needs to be replaced to last another 50 years. And over here, the other side of the pretzel loop from what we saw earlier. Again, you can see just how much they are doing. Looks like they've, uh, they're, looks like they're as, as they should, uh, starting at the track on the top part and then working their way down to make sure that uh, they're not getting any orange paint on the green supports etc etc uh, so you can see they've got half of the pretzel loop done and then a little bit of supports left on the top part the very top part of the pretzel loop support and then moving down so uh, it looks like they still got uh actually looks like they just got the that one curve on the pretzel loop done uh, doesn't even look like it's half done yet so um but yeah there, it's getting there i would say you know at least from what i can see right now probably at least another month or so um, but we'll see. Again, that part over here that goes over the fountain is going to be the toughest part. So last time we were here, they had a sign out that there were only one unit on Viper. Looks like uh, that is back to two trains. And for those curious, single rider is still available on Viper. So here, as we move into the Rapids area, you can see here, more painting being done. Uh, looks like they've got the first half of the twist done. Some more supports there. But they haven't painted that part of the track yet. But they painted the support. So they're going all kinds of crazy order. Some of it makes sense, some of it doesn't, but you can see 
uh, more support. So it looks like they're done in that particular area there. Looks like some of the lift hill is completed as well. Um, we'll move, obviously move over more. Don't see any work being done on the Q area. Not sure what else they could really do with the queue other than make it longer so the line doesn't stretch out all the way into the walkway. But they do have a sign here, repainting in progress. Beach will be unleashed in early 2022. And then as we move over here to the lift hill, you can see they've got, looks like a good three quarters of the supports done on the on that one, most of it is done here on the one side, just a little bit left there. Uh, looks like they've got most of the first drop completed as well. And then most of the supports heading down off of the first drop. So they are working. I see some, some cables, but I don't see any workers, but they're, you can see cables and ropes and stuff here. But it doesn't look like they're actually working today, at least from what I can see from here. Uh, the last time we were here, this entire area was closed off because they were painting right here. So I'll go ahead and walk a little bit more on this side before I head up the hill. But you can see uh, most of the first drop is complete. Just a little bit there on the left, um, but it looks like the entirety of the first drop is complete all the way up until right there. So they are definitely hard at work. It looks great as far as I'm concerned. I know some other people thought, don't think so, but I think it does. Uh, it does look a little weird with the Sky Tower being faded. Don't anticipate uh, any work going on with the Sky Tower anytime soon, but it sure would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, so halfway up the stairs here, look at the lift, which looks to be pretty close, except for until right there. They've got the first couple sections done. Half of the first twist that goes around the sky tower. And then of course, as we already showed here, they have not done the top of the lift yet, which will probably be a pretty, pretty big job there. So as we move closer to the station, you can see here, again, they've got uh, that part done, but then that part right there is not done. And then that part is not. And then that part's not done. And then that part's got just a little bit of green on it. So <laughs> definitely, uh, I'm. hey, they have a plan. I'm no uh, coaster painter, so I'm sure they have a plan. I'm not the professional, so I'm not going to question. It just looks kind of funny. Uh, and then again, here, stops right there and then continues as we move along here and it doesn't look like they've actually done anything close to the station yet yeah and then over here again more cables um, over here i'm gonna guess it is too windy for them to work today it is quite windy up here the east winds are blowing so I'm going to guess putting people up in a huge crane. Um, but you can see here they are repainting this area as well. They've got the speakers covered up so they don't get paint on it. So they are completely repainting, not just the coaster, but you can see they are painting the walls and everything. Uh, so that's nice, clean white now. Looks great. So it is not just uh, painting the coaster and supports. It is everything. So that looks pretty good, actually. Doing a good job. So. When it's windy like this, I'm guessing, so you can see kind of the before and after here, right there between the two sides. So the side on your right has been painted and the side on the left has not. I'm not sure if that's just a primer and then they're going to paint a little bit more. Um, obviously we'll have to wait and see. So it looks like we've got uh, two trains in the barn and then one still on the egg, uh, final brakes. So. 
the, the position that nobody ever wants to be stuck in. I don't know if it's even cycling at all, but uh, it is kind of in the element. So hopefully they been moving it in and out of the station. I'm assuming obviously they don't want the train in there when they're painting the station. So, but they are, they're working on it. All right, so here at the top of the hill, you can see a lot more done since our last update here. So here on top of the hill, you can see a lot more done since our last update. Uh, supports there for the brake run, the final brake run, the railing, and probably the floor for that final brake run. I hope they uh, took out all the gum and stuff <laughs> that's on that. If you've ridden tattoo, you know what I mean. Uh, so hopefully they, they removed all of that as well. I'm sure they did. Gross job. Don't be gross, people. Uh, so the turn here, completely done. It's been done for a while. It's great. Uh, and then over here on this side, looks like they've done more on this end. A little bit of supports there. And then as you move through. And then I'm sure they're going to paint some of this as well. Not sure if they'll paint the track inside the uh, warehouse there or not. Doesn't really need it, but it'd be nice if they did it anyway. And then the other side here, the final turn into the brakes has been completed as well, it looks like. So as we move up, you can see still more to do there. And then, you know, the pretzel loop. It's always kind of funny that the top of the pretzel loop is below this part in the grand scheme. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, it is quite windy today. So you can see all of the umbrellas have been lowered. Personal anecdote to that, I wish I would have known the wind was coming because at five o'clock in the morning, our umbrella on our table at home blew over and I had to go out and pick it up and pick up the table. So make sure that you uh, collapse your umbrellas when it's windy in SoCal. So let's go ahead and take a look if anything is new on Wonder Woman. So here at Wonder Woman, I'm gonna have to fight with Riddler's Revenge again. Super loud. Once again, doesn't look like a whole lot going on. At least on this side of the site. No vertical construction as of yet. But as always, we'll move down towards the Why so loud, Riddlers? Uh, as always, we'll move down towards the exit of Riddlers to see what we can see. So down here at the far end of Riddlers. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing new going on. So it'll happen. It'll be soon. And once it does happen, I have a feeling it's going to go very, very quickly. Um, you can see through the fence there again, very weird angle. There is uh, like a crane or some kind of tractor on this side. So again, once it does start, I think it's going to go very, very, very quickly. So stay tuned. And we'll, we'll, we'll head over to the DC Universe side and see if we can see anything going on over there. And have some thoughts on the Music Express former Flash as well that we just saw this morning in a new article. So we'll have some thoughts on that coming up. So here you can see the crane that I was talking about or something, some kind of tractor or crane that I was talking about from the Riddler's exit area. So you can see there it is really kind of under next to the first drop for Riddler's Revenge. Uh, so again, fully anticipate once uh, vertical construction starts on Wonder Woman, it will go pretty quickly. So look at the fancy new red walls. Maybe they had some leftover pet suit paint and they decided to paint the blue walls red. It definitely fits uh, Wonder Woman a little bit more. But blue also fits too. So over here, oh, there's a little bit of hole in there. Oh, oh, look at that. Kind of see in there. See how much is gutted, wow. Look at that, look how much is gutted in there.
So they are definitely working. Don't think that they aren't. Just because you're not seeing vertical construction, there is your proof. Definitely working in there. So here is a look at the other side of the red wall. I'll kind of turn around and give you a full look here. So again, it stretches all the way from first aid and the uh, backstage entrance exit all the way down to the boardwalk games here. Again, I'll uh, anticipate some kind of graphics or something happening here. I may or may not have just got some inside info about the graphics showing up on the wall. So I'm sure some other blog will be the first to actually post the pictures of it. But uh, if you are here at the park this weekend and you want to share with us, make sure you tag us on to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we will definitely share them. All right, everybody. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I was going to talk a little bit about the Music Express slash Flash that recently closed. I know we've talked about this location a little bit before as far as a possible relocation for Flash. Uh, there was an article that came out today from Brady, uh, who works with the LA Times and some other um, newspapers, and uh, the article did state that the Flash is um, still here, still going to be here at, in some regard, um, and stay tuned for future news on Flash. Again, I'm not going to be surprised if it actually does end up sh uh, in this spot here. Um, as you all know, this used to be the spot for the Byron Curve, uh, and it would easily fit the flash um, and it would add another dark ride or excuse me <laughs> and it would add another uh, flat ride here to this area of the park uh, so we'll see um, I, I definitely am happy that the park is keeping the music express uh, it is um, almost as old as me or actually a little bit older than me um, so I'm glad to, to hear that a classic uh, flat ride is staying here at the park but stay tuned hopefully we'll have some news for you on a re relocation of the flash in the very near future. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for our Six Flags Magic Mountain update. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, we'll definitely have some more information on a few things coming to the park soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna run in and get, uh, get my Six Flags Coaster Dynamics uh, Park Skyline uh, with some of my Six Flags gift card there. So uh, stay tuned, I'll uh, have a couple picks and I'll, maybe I'll put together a, a time lapse of me putting it together too at some point. All right, everybody, take care and thanks for watching. Hey everybody, so I wanted to do one final word on our Six Flags Magic Mountain update from today. Um, so I did was able to confirm with the park uh, based off of our video the other week where we were talking about the new Six Flags passes um, and if you have a current membership, we had mentioned that if you had a membership you would be grandfathered into that pass as long as you kept paying. I was able to confirm with the Parks PR Department today that is actually the case. Uh, so if you have a membership keep it going. I will link to that video here uh, so you can check it out if you haven't yet. And then one other thing, uh, we've, we're going to have some more thoughts on the Six Flags passes um, sometime next week. We've got some stuff coming up that uh, may be uh, kind of exciting, kind of shocking. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm being absolutely serious right here. Um, so a little cliffhanger there. Uh, stay tuned because uh, we will definitely have some thoughts about some stuff happening early next week. So Come back, same Park Journey place, same Park Journey channel. Stay tuned. Cliffhanger. I love it.